In this video, I will explain what is an isometric drawing and how to draw isometric. I will explain it in simple steps so that it's easier to understand. First, let's draw a 2D grid with x-axis and y-axis. The x-axis is parallel to the horizontal, while the y-axis is parallel to the vertical. So this 2D grid is made of squares of one by one centimeter. Now let's draw this grid again, but this time the x-axis is at 30 degree angle from the horizontal and the y-axis is also at 30 degree angle from the left side. For engineering students, you will use the T-square and the 30 degree angle triangle to draw the x and y axis. Now let's add the z-axis for the height. The z-axis is going to be vertical line. I will extend and repeat the lines of each axis more time just to fill the paper. We will call this an isometric grid. Each line on this grid is one centimeter length. As we mentioned before that the 2D grid is made of squares. So this isometric grid must be made of cubes, right? Can you see the cubes? The entire grid is made of those overlapping cubes. Now let's use this grid to draw a cuboid of dimensions two by five centimeter and a height of one centimeter. I will start by drawing a rectangle of dimensions two by five. Then add the height using the vertical lines of z-axis. Also notice that this cuboid can be drawn in a different position like this. Let's try another shape. This shape, for example, try to imagine this shape as two cuboids, one on top of the other. Let's start by drawing the first cuboid, which is two by two centimeter and one centimeter height. Now let's add the second cuboid on top of it. This is the base of the second cuboid. So we will add the height of one centimeter to it. Now we will remove the construction lines and hidden lines. Remember that you can draw the shape with any steps you like. For example, you may start by drawing the side faces like this. Then add a thickness of two centimeters along the Y axis. It all depends on how you imagine the shape in your mind, but in both cases, the final result is the same. Let's take another example. This time we will use both the 2D grid and the 3D isometric grid at the same time. This isometric grid is without the z-axis, which is the vertical line. Now let's draw any shape on those two grids, maybe something like this. Now in the isometric grid, we will add a thickness or height for this shape. Using the z-axis, which is vertical lines, let's add a thickness of one centimeter. Some of the lines will be removed as they are hidden and cannot be seen from this view. Or instead of completely removing the hidden lines, we can draw them as dashed lines. This is the basics of isometric drawings. Understanding this is essential to progress to the next level of drawing more complex shapes, and it will help you understand and visualize orthographic projection as well. The isometric grid is very useful for practice and improves your ability to visualize 3D shapes. I added a link in the description for a PDF file of the isometric grid, so you can print it and use it for practice. In the next videos, I will explain how to draw more complex shapes, how to draw a circle in isometric view, how to draw a cylinder in different positions, how to draw arcs or fillets, and much more. Thank you for watching.